Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and we're going to take a look at a different scripture passage today. But before that, let us review our memory verse. Our memory verse for this week is Romans 5, 8. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Romans 5, 8. But God commendeth his love towards us, and yet while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. So hopefully you guys are remembering that verse. That is a very important verse that shows that God uh, chooses and seeks us. And uh, hope you guys are enjoying memorizing that. Let us now run and go get our Bibles. Go, hurry, run! All right, so everybody got your Bible now because you ran lickety split. And we're going to turn to Mark 6, 45 through 52. Mark 6, 45 through 52. This is the story of Jesus walking on water. How exciting is that, that our God came to be born a man, and yet he can walk on water because he was 100% God and 100% man. So let's look at Mark chapter 6, verses 45 through 52. Verse 45 says, And immediately he made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side to Bethsaida while he himself dismissed the crowd. After he had said farewell to them, he went away to the mountain to pray. And when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. And he saw them being beaten in their rowing because the wind was against them. Around the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. And he was wanting to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost. And they cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke with them and said, Have courage, I am he, do not be afraid. And he went up with them into the boat, and the wind abated. And they were extraordinarily astounded within themselves, because they did not understand concerning the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. Why were the disciples in the boat? What does it say as to why the disciples were in the boat in verse 45? Second question, what was the reaction to the storm and to seeing Jesus on the water? What was the reaction to the storm and seeing Jesus on the water? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? So let's skim verses 30 to 44. And uh, I didn't read this, but go back to Mark 6, 30 through 44. What miracle had the disciples just seen? So Jesus did something and the disciples had just seen this. And it is referenced in this passage. But go back and look at 30 through 44. What miracle had the disciples just seen? Had the disciples learned the lesson that Jesus was teaching in verse 52? How do you know? What would make you think yes or no that the disciples had learned the lesson that Jesus was teaching in verse 52? And then finally, what was Jesus's response to their fear and lack of trust in him? What was Jesus's response to their fear and lack of trust in him? So I hope you guys are enjoying this study and tonight's Wednesday. So we will see you tonight on the Zoom meeting for kids at six o'clock. If you need that link, shoot me a text or an email and I'll get it to you. So we'll talk to you tomorrow, Thursday, week three.